Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Settlement Survival. We are moving and we are grooving. We're spread pretty thin with our citizens here. We've only got one laborer kind of moving materials around the uh, village here. We're a little light on wood. Uh, we got 125 planks, but where, it, where are the logs? Zero timber. How is that possible? Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. So we need more timber. Uh, I wonder if I should shut down the sawmill temporarily. Let's do it. I'm going to take somebody off of that and put a new person in the forester's hut. And hopefully we can get some more wood going. We're probably going to need another forester's hut. I'm guessing. Maybe we can find a spot for that. Oh boy, maybe out here, out oh, in this area, get another forester's hut going. Again, we're a little short on people, so it's hard to know what's best. Uh, let's see. Okay, forester's hut. What about... That's our hunter. That's that one. Could do it here. Or we could expand down this way. Kind of want this area to be more fields. And maybe even more pastures. So fields and pastures together over here. Um, we've got room over here. Although I'm not sure if this would be... If we can hook up another mine to this mountain. So I kind of need a spot that doesn't have a mountain. That's got a big old radius. That's got a big old radius. We could, we could run a road down this way and have some forestry maybe here or up in this area. I guess we've got a bunch of these mountain outcrop outcroppings that we can use for iron mines and things <clears throat> and stone mines. Let's see. Here's our mine. What can we actually pick here? Iron, silver, or coal? Waiting on my little kids here to grow up. I got 13 of them. Dirt road. Oh boy, it's hard to see. I guess I can put a dirt road right around where this composting site is, right? That building had a huge footprint. Do we need to clear out the trees and stuff? I'm going to put a road in here. Boom. Along that area. And then can I, should I be clearing out the trees within this compost plant? I'm going to do it just to do it. Uh, grab trees. Well, those are helping us. And then I'm thinking forestry out this way, maybe a little further down, actually. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't really have the work. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Roads. All right, that worked pretty easy. Forester's hut. Thinking something like down here. Be this way. Uh, rotate this guy. How about right there? It'll take a while to build, but yeah, we need more logs. Um, we can, I've only got one worker. Let's see if we can get more stuff harvested. down here this area we can get these trees harvested that'll help our log supply only got 20 timber 
there is the merchant ship on its way. We'll need to put our remaining worker in here if we want to trade. And I think with this ship, we have to buy material. No town hall to register at. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, those are the immigrants coming in. Do we need an actual town hall? Apparently we do. Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to hold off on it, actually. It's preventing us from accepting immigrants until we get the town hall. Let's see what this is. Vendors will take all sorts of resources from warehouses to the marketplace, which benefits citizens a lot in living and production. Houses can only be built within the marketplace. Right. We're going to need another marketplace, too. And we're going to want to expand. We chose a large map. Let's uh, hit the M key. Can we get a feel for how big the map is? Is that it? Maybe. Doesn't seem that big, does it? Still only a single worker. We have another child, though, in our community. The utility rate 100%. Curious about our housing status. Um, town overview, laborers, builders, houses 15, family 15. Inhabitants, 42. 15 times 4 would be room for 60 people. 14 children, educated 75%. School. We don't have a school either. Hmm. Seems like we should have a school. I don't think they gave us one, right? They gave us to start. We got the clinic. We got the chapel. We got the builder's cabin. We got a couple houses and a storage yard. The marketplace. We don't have a school. What about... What about putting that behind our research place? Kind of makes sense. I got a, I've got a road there already. Let's do it. Boom. And now it looks like there's one little nugget of road that's missing. Fix it. And then we can upgrade this road later. Okay, all those trees were taken out. Did we get logs? Yeah, check it out. Our timber has gone way up. Good. I like it. Let's grab some more resource. Seems they're able to pick stuff up pretty darn quick. Boom. Boom. Okay, some citizens have no tools. Work efficiency is greatly decreased. Tools can produce, be produced in the smithy. I've got a smithy. I don't have anyone in there. That is right there. I do have someone in here. Let's pick a iron tool, stone tools. Reserves worth seven iron tools. Um, timber and iron ore. Let's do iron tools. And then this guy, what are you complaining about? See the exclamation point. What is it? Let's take a look at the help and see what it says for that. That is... No workers. All right. Um, taking a break. Who has no workers? This guy. Yeah, the smithy. I didn't think so. I'm going to have to steal one out of here. One of our forester. Do that. Got our quarry, which is about to be completed. We have no workers for it. We have a ship on its way. I've got another pasture. Can we pick an animal for this? Nope, just turkeys. This pasture... Ooh, what's going on? 
Oh, look at all these saws. Is everything falling apart? All our buildings falling apart. Look at all these saws. I'm going to pause and see what that's all about. Oh, man. Okay, no tools. Okay, citizens have no tools to work with and are using their bare hands. Their work efficiency is significantly reduced. All right, we've got the blacksmith started on tools. I think we have enough. Um, let's see what our iron supply is. Do we have iron? Man, almost none. Almost none. Do you have iron in your inventory? A little tiny bit. Boy. We need more people. We need more people. We need more everything. Timber's looking okay. Planks we've got turned off. How many builders do we've got? We've got two builders. We've got a whole bunch to build, though. Houses are compost. This is probably looking for somebody... No, we got someone working. Lack of raw material. Hmm. Dried animal dung. Thought our little outhouse was producing that. Dried animal dung, yeah. And I thought this guy should be producing it, right? Dried animal dung. Daily, we're only getting one. Hmm. Can we take somebody off of this until we get more dried animal dung? Is they're working now. Yeah, yeah. Someone just delivered some. Maybe that warning was just when this this came online, this operation. Hopefully this is going to result in us getting uh, more food out of our two little tiny fields here. Would like to put someone else in the iron mine. Just waiting for our people to grow up so we can get them to work. Trying to build this by hand. Building a stone quarry by hand. Oh, it looks like he's got a little tool. And we have the trade ship coming. We might be able to see it. There it is. Let's. Our little happiness is going up. Can I change these things? Profile citizen statistics. Nope. All right. We'll see what we can buy. If we can buy anything to help us along. We've got 5,600 silver coins. We do have the, do we have the caravan building built? Small trading post. No, not yet. Needs iron ore. How are we doing on stone? That's stone 54 and regular stone 32. Not great. Could gather some of this material. Let's do it. There's the trade vessel coming. We took workers out of the sawmill. Got 140 planks available. Be interesting to see what we can trade for with this guy. I think he's going to stop here. We might want to put a worker in there just to be safe. Builder's cabin. Yeah, we are spread really thin. I'm not sure where I should take someone off of. Maybe the forester. All right, here we are. Let's uh, pause. And the merchant dock has arrived at the shipyard. I'll just click that notification and it pulls me into a trade window here. I've got 5,600 coins. What should I buy? Medical soap ducks. Duck. If I, oh my gosh, look at the price. That would allow us to raise ducks, right? From here on out in our second pasture. Hmm. Lanterns and medical soap. Uh, does this tell us what it is? Not really. We could look it up. Item. Um, health, maybe? Medical soap. Okay, medical soap made from medicinal powder, fat, blubber, or beeswax. Bathhouses can grant a health bonus by consuming the item. Tempted to get the duck, I'm telling you. I have a feeling these are like maybe harder to obtain. Food right now is 
still looking pretty darn good. Ooh, we've gone through all our potatoes. Got plenty of lettuce, plenty of pumpkin. We need to find a way to prepare that stuff too. Um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it and go for the duck. Maybe ridiculous choice, but I'm doing it. Um, duck, and then I have to put in 4,500. Boom, we've done it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit dismiss. And I think that sends the ship off. See you later. New livestock acquired. Um, I can actually take the worker out of here. Boom. And let's plant our duck here. Duck, boom, and get a worker in there. I got, ooh, I still have one laborer. What is this guy crying about? Should be happy. Road, boom. Um, I'm paused. Let's unpause. All right. So we can raise ducks and this field hold, or this pasture will hold 14 of them. We've got more room for housing here within range of the marketplace, but I've got a bunch of houses already queued up. Let's grab some more timber, maybe? Got 313. That's not bad. Maybe I should take someone off of the forestry. Let's do it. Boom. Get another laborer moving around here. I wouldn't mind getting iron. And then we talked about preparing food as an issue to improve things. That would be where. Sand pit we need to do. We unlocked that and haven't used it yet. Kiln factory. Yeah. Okay. Veg processing plant. Thinking we should do this. And I think this can go just outside of the range of the marketplace. What about... What about over here, maybe? And maybe we'll get a little more nutrition out of these vegetables that we're raising. We got a bunch of pumpkin and we got a bunch of lettuce. We've got 16 kids now. Two laborers. Um, what about another field? I know these fields are tiny. Hmm. Uh, let's stick with it. Let's stick with these fields for now. I'm going to put two more down. And I guess I left the space between them, so I'll put road there. And then we might want to think about uh, upgrading our roads. We still have the stonemason producing cut stone for us. Can we get a better road? Okay, Const roads constructed with stone greatly increase citizens' movement speed. Construction material. And is that cut stone? Oh, we can do even better than that, I think. Okay, what's going on saving? Okay. Roads constructed with cut stone greatly increases citizens' movement and speed when on a road by 75%. Traffic quality of nearby citizens rises to level two. Construction material that um, can pave cut stone roads in large areas. Not sure what the difference is between those two things. Cut stone road and cut stone ground. Okay. Remove roads and stone floor. Stone floor that can be built under buildings. Huh. Let's try some of this cut stone road. And do one of these sections of road. See people moving through here. Let's do that and just see what happens. Autumn has arrived, time for the harvest. 
Um, they must have already harvested because I don't see anything, <laughs> anything on our fields. Ducks still have only one, but they can reproduce even if you have one. So eventually we'll get two ducks here. Okay, let's get our quarry going. I'm going to just leave that with one person for now. I know we're pathetic. Stretched pathetically thin here. Looks like houses are slowly getting built. Um, I got people complaining they're cold. How are we doing on the household goods? Domestic fuel's okay. We got 16 kids, so our population is going to increase. Got nothing on the horizon. A trade ship way out. I'm looking at the top right. And it looks like this guy is producing fertilizer. Hopefully that automatically gets taken up here. I don't know. Crops are not ripe enough to be harvested. That's fine. Okay, no resource bonus. Eventually, I think when we get fertilizer, maybe this will take on this having a bonus. Right now it doesn't. Fertilizer production limit 200 last year, this year 80. It says we did produce some. Is that in inventory somewhere? Tools, we've got one. <laughs> Textiles. We've got some clothing. A little bit of iron ore. Planks left over. We haven't really used any of those yet. Water. We got plenty of water. And then we got our food. Lots of pumpkin and lots of lettuce. And then we just placed kind of a school still needs to be built. And our veg processing plant. 50 iron ore for that. Uh, I'm going to prioritize this building. And you can see our road needs to be constructed yet to two laborers, 16 kids, 30 adults working. We're producing a tiny bit of stone here. Big giant road probably needs to be upgraded. Small trading post is being built that we can raise money, but we don't really have much to sell unless we can sell pumpkin. Ducks. Looks like we got our second duck. So soon that'll be producing food for us. On the regular. Okay, our farms want us to pick crop. Shoes. Raw materials. Oh, staple food. Beans. Pea seeds. Uh, let's do that. And here, let's do vegetables, black seeds. I wonder if that's for clothing. Let's take a look. Blacks. I'm not scrolling by it. Uh, I can do right here, maybe. Okay, a textile material which can be planted in the field and can be made into linen in the textile mill or ropes at the knitting workshop. The seeds can be obtained through gathering. Let's uh, let's do one that's not food related. Let's do flax here. And then we obviously need workers that we don't have. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pop one here. Want to keep at least one laborer. Eighteen kids now. Chopping house only has one person working. How are we doing on that? Uh, I should show. Last year, this year. Does it show how much we have? <clears throat> I don't see it. Let's look up here. Hundred sixteen. We're in November. Running at five times speed, 
Wood's okay. Or timber's okay. We've got two people there. I'm just looking where I can steal a person. Spread pretty thin. Food overall is holding pretty darn steady despite our rising population. Okay, we've got our small trading post. What can we sell? Something. Um, let's look at this factions thing. Date seeds, cactus seeds, neutral factions, Tonio. Let's see. Can I sell? Looks like I've got to pick from these four. Selling items. And I believe this is the list of things that they want. Not selling clothes or tools or iron ore. Everything I've got is kind of needed. Cut stones. I've got 84 cut stones. We are making those. And they sell for a pretty nice price. We could try to sell some of these. How many do I have? I've got 84. What if we sell 60 of these? Okay, that adds 300 weight to our caravan. What else would I even sell? Timber. We were right in, uh, maybe planks. Let's sell a hundred planks and we'll just test this out. And we've got a bunch of water. Do they really want to buy water from us? 400. Yeah, that's going to be too much. Um, yeah, 1600 weight. So let's do 200 water and let's bring that down until we get to a total weight here of a thousand whoops oh i'm not sure what the reserve means number of items reserved for survival i see um i'm not gonna worry about that right now let's go down to Get the weight down to a thousand, then we'll just send this thing off. If we have enough people, I wonder how many people it takes. Oh man, it takes seven people. Seven. We can bring it lower, but the risk of death is high. Uh, let's chance it. I still want to try this. Okay, our risk of death is two point six one percent. Boom, it's three point five percent. Five point two. I'm gonna send. Oh boy, risk of death is fourteen percent. And it's going to get us almost 2,000 silver coins if we do this. Oh, wait. Can I have sold some other stuff? Yeah, I could have sold pumpkin. Let's change this to 40. Change this to 30. Come into food and sell pumpkin. How about 600? Trying to get the weight down here to 1,000. Oh, we don't get nearly as much money for this. Uh, let's wait. Let's wait till we get more people. I'm nervous about losing people, and I'm nervous about giving, um, giving up people. Losing people temporarily while they're out doing the caravan and losing them permanently. I'm a little nervous about right now because we're so thin on people i've got zero workers um where can i steal from i wonder if these farmers do we need all these farmers? i'm going to take a farmer off so we've got one laborer we still have 1100 coins we bought a duck there's now four in there that's going to produce dung that's going to help our farms and it's giving us feathers can be made into clothing at the advanced tailor. Nice. And it's giving us some food can be processed into meat chop at the butcher. That's another thing we need is a butcher. Here's our veg processing plant. We've got a worker in there. Let's make something. Can you do anything with the pumpkin? Pumpkin and a veggie salad. Do I, I guess I just click veggie salad. 
hopefully that's going to help our nutrition situation and happiness. Guessing. Marks has arrived. We've got two gatherers here. Last year, so we're getting oats, wild vegetables, peas, herbs, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Food's a little bit down now. It's in 4,500 range. Lack of raw materials. So the mason is waiting on stone. I'm waiting on workers. Lumber's at 146. We made it through the winter. Um, where is our... Okay, here's our forester's hut. That That's our new one. That's still being constructed. That's fine. Got three farms active. Two farms only have a single person on them. And then we've got this lettuce farm that's got two people working it. And for a standard farm, I don't know if one person can do it. Fine, I guess we'll find out. Try and notice if things get rough. This veggie salad maker is going to be doing fine because we have got a million pumpkin to process. 23.74. What about the meat? Let's see if we can find the building where we can get the, uh, the meat processed as well. Butcher. What about putting that right behind? So we can let the vegetarians and the meat eaters kind of fight it out. Right here, let the drama ensue, and we will make just dirt road for now. Come on, we got 20 kids. Doesn't tell us their age is, just that they're kids. Under age 20, there's, or under age or 20 people. We're going to have workers. This little happiness number is climbing up. At 92%. Proper burial. Do we have graves in our grave site yet? Got room for 30 tombstones. No one's died, so that's a good thing. How do these farms look? Yeah, these ones with one farmer are kind of hurting. Keep up. They're only just now getting planted. In fact, this one's not even done planting. We still haven't done fisheries. Okay, we got two workers. Where do we want to put the next one? Probably in that butcher's hut. Oh, the school. That's still being, being built. School's still being built. We've got no iron ore. They're working on it. Last year, we only got 60. Hmm... Where to put the next person? Put stone and stone. Almost no stone. I think we're going to have to turn off the mason. Let's do that. What are we doing on firewood? Tools are improving. We got 68 now. That was down to like one. Uh, where are you? Household goods. We've got no domestic fuel. So that seems pretty horrible, right? What's going on here? Let's add a worker to that. In fact, we could put them... Actually, let's take these guys out. Go to the sawmill and change this to... 
domestic fuel. This is supposed to be more efficient here. And put two workers on that. And then we'll just turn off the chopping house for now until we need to produce planks. Planks. We haven't, I don't think we've even spent planks yet. We've got 140. Fuel reserves are low. Yep. That's why we just prioritize this. I've got another laborer. I'm going to go ahead and put them on this fuel. It's June. And I'm going to put another couple of workers here gathering trees. Forests, the foresters. But still waiting on stuff to get built. Uh, it's showing three more. Do I really? Are they growing that fast? Let's get another worker in here for stone and another worker here for iron. Okay, now we're down to one labor. Fuel reserves are low. I know it. I know it. We have timber. Not a lot. Uh, let's collect some manually here. And that should increase our timber. And hopefully these guys can pick it up. Durability is 166 on that. How about our houses? Are these improving? 139. Yeah, our houses have come up a bit on durability. That's good to see. I was nervous about that. We've got three people doing repairs. Got tons of extra room. I could have just gotten by with one repair shop and added more people. We've got room for 12 people and we've got three doing it in that profession. But maybe as the city grows, we will... Uh, We'll be able to maximize that space or maximize the ability to uh, have more repair people. Let's put down some houses. Um, can we get bigger, have better houses? When, when tech tree, we've got four upgrades, uh, house upgrades, marquee. Let's uh, activate this. And then house upgrades, luxury house could accommodate one family up to five people. Long residu residual fuel endurance and allows large stockpiles. Must be placed in the range of the marketplaces. Fine, fine, fine. Let's activate that and see if that allows us to upgrade our houses. Can we? Can we? Okay, citizen stress minus 5%. Upgrade, re upgrade right there. Does it tell us what it costs? Uh, bricks, which we don't have. Okay. We need to get a sand mine down. Let's save that for next episode. We are starting to get some workers coming in. Our youth are growing up into working age. So that's allowing us to kind of staff up a little bit. They mentioned we were short on um, domestic fuel. So we just switched our sawmill over to three people, which is the max doing domestic fuel. If we want to next episode, we can turn on the chopping house too and get two more people doing domestic fuel. It's August. We don't want our people to freeze out and that doesn't seem like it's enough fuel. So we might just do that. But for now, we're going to end this episode. Thank everybody for watching this series on settlement survival. Extra special thanks to Gladdercat channel members and patrons. Your contributions are what keeps this channel alive. And I deeply, deeply and sincerely appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode.